All right, back here on Study Ball and picking up on our Geno Smith tape against San Francisco in the playoffs. We saw part one, a lot of really good things by Geno. Taking the throws that were there, making a couple tough throws, not making uh, a lot of mistakes, but just getting the ball out of his hands to the right guy and trying to move the chains. Let's get into part two and see if that continues throughout this game. Empty set again. San Francisco playing, playing back here. All right. So similar to play to what we saw earlier. Go, flat, shallow. They've got a chase route right there. So like to see corner off. Like to read this flat here. We we'll go one. This guy comes and matches to it get back in here but as i was saying you could see san francisco playing really deep here not sure what the down and distance is on this particular play but probably long yarded situation so he could have easily taken the flat right there to walker said he puts it over the ball yeah you see it here they're in a third and really long so san francisco just playing soft just going back getting yourself a completion Hard play action. Again, you got to assume they're going to take some sort of shot down the field. This one turns into an interception here. Now, it's hard to tell exactly what the route is here. Uh, is this a deep out or is this a comeback? Looks like Lockett runs a deep out, which is what gives Lenore the opportunity to turn and go get that football. And that's tough. We're trying to time it up. What do I see? I see the corner turn his hips back to the inside. So if I can let this go on time and get this ball out here, I feel pretty good about that because he's got to roll his hips. As he gets to the top, Tyler and gets kind of hung up on him. And again, if this is a out, I don't like it because look at the lack of space that Tyler leaves for, for Gino. Right, This much space to throw a timing deep out, really, really hard. That's why I thought maybe this was supposed to be a comeback. And if so, Tyler falls up the field a little too much and gives the angle back to Lenore. But either way, because we cut down that spacing, if it's an out or a corner route, I'd like to see Gino say, forget it. I've lost all my, my space and leverage there. I got to get back to this guy, don't like him, or get down to my check down trying to force the throw down the field. And again, I see what he sees. I just don't like the positioning of this route. So let's go back one more time and just watch Tyler Lockett. He goes there, now he pushes vertical. I'd like to see him push vertical right here. Continue to get Lenore to back up, go in this direction, and then turn the corner, which gives more space to Gino. Instead, you see Tyler continuing to go outside, outside, outside to get that outside leverage. But then all he does is cut down the space and the timing for Gino on the back end. And a nice play by the defensive back leads to an interception. Okay, empty. I like it. He's doing a nice job of dealing the football. So they're going hitch, seam, seam, hitch, and then working the middle again. So very similar to that Horn route where we had corner routes here. Now we're just going with seams. First thing we're looking at, do we have corners off? Got corners off, we're gonna start outside and work back inside, hit that back foot, boom, ball's out. Nice job. Hit the back foot, get the ball out, get completions, move the chains. You know, San Francisco, they're, they're susceptible at times to being able to, to get some of these quick throws. You gotta be able to get the ball out of your hands and complete things, and then you have to finish drives because they don't give up a lot of big plays as we've seen so far in this game. Not a lot of big plays to be had for Seattle. Okay. All right, so looks to me like they're running a mirrored combination, which is what we call corner. So it's a corner in and out to both sides. And then this guy should probably work the field even though he's kind of going in the same direction as one of these outs. So you're really just picking a side. You're looking at leverage of these guys. You're looking at his one side have a rolled corner because we're really trying to get a high low off of one of these corners 
out here. Okay, so we're gonna, you're gonna look down here, look down here, okay? Tough, right? This guy does a nice job of kind of midline in this, right? He turns his hips back to the inside, is in a position to play this, still in a decent position to play that, but because he's falling back, we can't jam the one in down the field. So take your quick out or work back to your check down wherever he's at. Same thing on the top, guys midlining it. Throw would probably be to the out again. There we go, we'll take it, All right? We'll take it. Go get yourself a completion, read it out, let the defense dictate where you throw the football. Okay, we're coming back with a similar type play. Okay, it's the play that we've seen a number of times now. Go, out, over, shallow, in. Read your peer progression. If you got it, peek at it, but really one, two, three, four. Tyler Lockett once again, we got the leverage we want. Boom, ball's out. Again, not great with the route in my opinion because he kind of just leans over here and never pushes back up to give Gino a chance to throw it. He kind of just leans this direction and then comes out of it quick. I don't think this is supposed to be a flat. So it catches Gino, I think, a little bit quick here. Thus the reason we end up missing this row. We get too close to the sideline, even though it probably should have been caught right there. But again, then you see the progression. Okay, so let's say this guy matches. You don't have it. We're going to look to the shallow here. Nice coverage right there. We could work right outside here, or we could peek over and then back to the outside guy. And you see it's the outside guy that's open, coming all the way from the outside. But again, San Francisco, these are the tough ones, right? You got opportunities there. Got to make those opportunities against good defense, especially at playoff time. Okay, so another empty. I like it. One way to have success against 49ers, in my opinion, is to spread them out, okay? We're gonna run a choice right here. We're gonna run a pivot here, looks like a go. Not sure, let's see if that guy runs a corner out. Oh, no, so that guy goes right to the middle there. So, in this particular play, right? Again, I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe here and grab this Mike linebacker and hit this back behind it, maybe. Um, but we get soft coverage over here with the corner. I like this choice route unless this guy matches hard to him right now. It looks like Gino's looking down the middle. And then by the time he gets to Tyler, we've seen him hit this other one quick, right? Enough space right there to complete it. We saw him do that earlier in the game. But he hesitates looking into the middle a little bit for some reason and gives the corner the opportunity to see it and break on the football. And that's what makes Gino pull the football down here and then try to scramble and make a play good thing once again now well, doesn't make a bad play worse i'm not sure tough throw right there trying to make it back inside but at this point they're down in the game so maybe just trying to make a play okay similar type play instead of hitches we've got out Seams, back checking down. First thing we're looking at again, corners off. Corners off, take your shot to the outside. Nice. See it, feel it, get your back foot set, stick it in the ground, get the ball out, go get yourself another completion. A lot of really good stuff, getting the ball out on time, seeing it, recognizing what he's supposed to recognize, and getting the ball out. Really great throw right here. So, what do we have? We have what we call all go. Go, seam, influence, go. All right, so what are we looking at here? Okay, we're looking at the safeties. Okay, safeties give us kind of a too high look. Okay, so I like to look at the backside safety. If the backside safety gets width, so he helps on this backside go, then I'm really trying to think, um, you know, whoever this is down the middle against a Mike linebacker. And if that guy carries, then I can drop it to my back. If at any point after I've verified the backside safety, I look at the front side safety and he wants to squeeze it, I can possibly work the two on one to the outside. Very seldom do I think this one, even though a lot of teams will bend 
that guy instead of using this guy as their bender. So if that's the case, then sometimes you can hit the number two guy, even though he's running right at a safety. But that's what Gino does right here. Really well done. You see it. Mike Backer does a good job of turning and running. Okay, safety gets wide, and Gino sticks it right there in the hole to his number two. If he doesn't have it, see his back coming out of here. Check down would have been the throw, but a great throw on the back shoulder protecting this guy, but being able to see the structure of the defense all the way across and make a big time throw. Ah, missed one right here, okay, but he ends up finding it at the end. So we're gonna run the sprint out, seal this. Seattle likes to run this, so it's really just a hitch and a corner. So we're just simply coming off, same thing we talked about before, read the corner. As long as the corner's soft, take your hitch right now. Right now, there it is, there it is, there it is, okay? Don't get greedy, don't try to make the touchdown, there's your throw, and again, nice job. He goes, hitch, doesn't take it, looks at the corner, sees the, the cornerback kind of midlining this and comes back to the hitch. I like it. It's usually how we read this. Hitch to corner, back to hitch. If you don't have him, does a nice job right there. Just thought he had it right off the bat. If he puts it on him right there, now we got a chance to get inside the five and really set ourselves up for a touchdown. Okay, so we got mirrored concepts right here where we're running a stick and a flat, stick and a flat, okay? Biggest mistake that I see when teams are running this quite often is this outside receiver gets too tight, okay? Because what we're really trying to do here is down here tight, we get man-to-man -man coverage. We're trying to get a little bit of a rub on this guy and force him to go over the top or if he tries to go underneath to get banged a little bit so we can create those flat throws. We get too tight here, and now when I get pushed down, especially if I'm getting jammed, I get pushed inside, we make it easy for that guy to go over the top. So if he's two or three yards wider and still takes his flat angle and pushes up, we get a better opportunity to create the rub. So let's watch it up top. You see it, right? He's trying to create the rub, but because he doesn't have enough width, Guy runs right over the top and now it makes it a tough throw for Gino. On the bottom, same thing. And again, can't get the rub. Guy runs right over the top, but he bubbles just enough. Bubbles just enough that down here would have been the easier throw, although nobody knows that before the snap, so it's really just pick a side. I understand why he's going to that side. Just good coverage, lack of details to me makes that a hard play. Okay, nice job here. So we're gonna run flat, corner, and then what we call mesh. Okay, so we're trying to get a rub for this shallow coming here. So we're looking one to two to three. So coming out, looking at that flat defender, see him come screaming to the back. Don't like it, nice job. We'll step up there and finding his shallow coming across for the touchdown. All right, so you see a lot of really, really good stuff there by Gino. Not making bad decisions, not forcing the football. That was really his MO all last year, and then making the big plays when they were there to be made. So go through a lot of these pass plays, and they didn't win this football game because they had trouble finishing and getting the ball in the end zone, which is really what San Francisco's defense is all about. But Gino played another good football game. Knew what he had to do. Knew he had to get the ball out of his hands. Wasn't standing back there holding the football against that good defensive front. Know where your eyes should be. Know what you're looking at on the different plays. Get the ball out. Be accurate with the football. That was Geno's story last year. Now, I'm excited to see him you know, stack years together and see if he can elevate his game just a touch, but he can elevate the guys around him, and now Seattle can truly become a contender in the NFC.